And so one is like tissues, right? In your body, you have hard tissues and soft tissue, right? Actually in massage, you get deep tissue uh, massage, soft tissue massage, where they're working on the muscles and the, and the connective tissues, right? And then you have hard tissue, like basically bone, right? And so one way to understand, okay, is a martial art hard or soft or anything, right? Hard or soft dance, right? Hard or soft sport, right? Well, you can't have one without the other in terms of this level of understanding of density of tissue, right? And obviously, if you want to do some damage, right, in, in martial uh, practice, right, then you need to use something hard, right, to, to, to make impact, right? And the muscles are relatively soft, right? And they mobilize and accelerate these hard tissues to collide, right? And, you know, hopefully in an area on the opponent's uh, body, which deters them, right? Shuts them down, deters them from, from um, their aggression. Um, I want to go one layer deeper, though, is that um, when you think about, okay, now you're saying, okay, hard is bone, right? So a martial art that uses bone primarily is a hard martial art, and a martial art that uses, you know, maybe the soft tissues like muscle and uh, tendons. Okay, so that's a soft martial art. But you can't have one without the other, right? It, if you have muscles right, without bones, like, I mean, <laughs> you can't even move, right? You have no structure, scaffold, right? And if you have bones without muscles, right? You're just a skeleton. And so you need both. One layer deeper in this sort of um, framework, um, and this is just the reality. We, we need not call it a philosophy or a cosmology or even Chinese or, or American or whatever. It's just reality. And, uh, and the body, right? The muscle, right, where we called soft, so one layer deeper, right, can also have a yin and yang, right? So when the muscle is relaxed, right, it is soft and it is in the yin state, let's say in this case, yin as soft. But when you contract it, right, when you contract the bicep or the tricep, then it is in a, uh, let's say, yang state, an activated or hard state. Right? Let's use that. So even something that we call soft or yin can also have a sub level or sub state which is yin or yang right so some say yin within yin or yang within yang or yang within yin right so in other words yin and yang can branch out also each yin can have yin yang yang can have yin yang right so you have four states right so the muscle can be soft and hard right and the bone actually, I mean, in terms of structure, you have the cortical part of the bone, which is solid on the outside. And then you have the cancellar or trabecular part of the bone, which is more hollow, right? So maybe you can say, okay, the bone, right? On the outside is more yang, on the inside is more yin. So even bone, which is hard tissue, has a more yin and yang part, right? Uh, let alone, right? Some people have soft bones, right? Like uh, uh, you know, osteoporosis, their bones are more, more, let's say more yin, right? 